strippers of reddit what's your weirdest story while working one of our old dancers passed away 10 years ago in a drunk driving accident every holiday her mom and some of her church friends come into the into the club and pass cookies and jewelry to girls and memorial we love our sweet church ladies i got asked by a guy to have my feet sucked he seemed pretty normal for the most part told everyone in the club I got paid $500 to beat a man with his own belt on stage for his last night as a bachelor. I was brutal and the more savage I got. The more tips rolled in. That poor guy. But through all the screams and wincing. He actually loved every bit of it. Hope he healed before the wedding. Ah. It's finally my time to shine. Let me tell you about Catford Braith. This man was a heart surgeon. And if you didn't know that you would think he was a janitor or something. He came across as barely functional. This man's mouth smelled like dry cat food and a hot juicy dumpster on a summer day mixed together in perfect harmony. Well anyways. He would tell me, and everyone at the bar, how his dream life was to kidnap me and take me to Mexico. Not allow me to ever sleep. And to encase me in a body condom and throw me into a pool of ice if I tried to sleep at all. Hit club. Guy who was a celery farmer came in and gave us all three bags of celery. There was also candle guy, worked at a candle factory and would bring in the reject candles. Supposedly other farmers with various free foods would come in but I only got hooked up with celery and candles. Edit. Thanks for the awards. I have lots of unwholesome stories from my time on the pole but it was nice to share a harmless one for a change. The only appropriate way to stalk a stripper. Edit. Obligatory thanks for the golden gifts kind strangers. Also shout out to those who shared the Chelsea FC celery chant. Amazing. I was the bartender at a strip club for a few months once. I have seen and heard some crazy stories. Classic strip club stuff. But this one time. A customer brought in her pet parrot to the bar. I obviously spent the rest of my shift talking with the parrot. His name was Pickle he tipped me a dollar. He was a real gem. A buddy paid me back $200 with a banded stack of $2 bills. Went to a nearby club with a friend and all was well until a young dancer took the stage. We began putting money on the stage and she just stops and says. What the duck is this? Apparently she hadn't seen a $2 bill before. An ex pro skater took a liking to me and kept buying dances from me. Clubs in my city don't have VIP rooms. I was a baby stripper so after a few dances I just ran out of moves lol but the guy started calling me Arwin and Liv. I kept saying those aren't my name and he confessed he was in love with my because I look like Liv Tyler in the 90s. Probably the best compliment I've received. The bad experiences I think I've repressed. Not a stripper but was an escort. A man booked me for $400 for 2 hours just to get naked to have dinner in the room and talk to him on the bed. Never wanted sx. Just be naked and talk about stuff. He said he never get to talk to his wife like that. Kinda sad for him. I went with my friend on a sorta slow Tuesday night. Met this dancer that hated this one creepy dude and asked me to keep buying dances and she'll pay me back and take me to the 24 hour faux place. Heard this one before. I keep buying dances and we talk about Zelda Oot. End of the night comes around. She gives me her number and texts me to meet at the faux place in an hour. A woman of her word. She gives me my cash back and buys me faux. TL. DR stripper bought me faux. Not really weird but sad. One time I was doing a VIP session. And this dude legitimately told me to stop dancing. And basically broke down in front of me. Telling me he was only there because his friends dragged him along to cheer him up. From what he told me he caught his wife in bed with another man. And they recently just got divorced. He told me his now ex-wife told his kids that he was the one cheating. And his kids basically hated him now. I've never felt so bad for a total stranger all my life. Not a stripper but have a funny story from the only time I've been to a strip club. On a night out at university. 
My friend had just broken up with his girlfriend so dragged me into one of clubs in town. He paid for me to have a dance whilst he tried to bet with one of the others by flipping a coin. Heads he gets the dance for free. Tails he pays double. It was Tails. Anyway during my dance. I was chatting to the girl who was a similar age and we found out we were both studying law. Although she was a year below and at a separate university. We spent the majority of the dance discussing contract law and our experiences as a student. She ended up giving me her email address and I sent her all of my notes from the previous current year to help her out. She'll have graduated by now so I often wonder what she's up to. It all ended up being quite a wholesome night considering. Does a third party experience count? A few years ago when Skyrim was still all the rage. Got dragged to a strip club with a friend's birthday party. Noticed that one of the strippers had a Skyrim logo tattoo for a tramp stamp, the Septim Dragon Diamond. Pointed it out to the guys in the party. And one dude peeled off to get a dance from her. Fast forward a couple hours and we realize that he never came back to join us. I went looking for him and sure enough. He's sitting in one of the private dance booths. The chick is naked sitting next to him. He's rubbing her feet and they are discussing Skyrim mods. Later on it turned out he ended up spending $400 for the pleasure and she didn't do a single dance for him. When I was a stripper. A customer visiting from Canada bought a lap dance and while we were back there. He tried to talk me into going to his hotel to give him a hand job for $200. I declined multiple times. He took the hint. And also came in his pants during the lap dance. He leaves. Life goes on. Eight years later I'm a hairdresser in the suburbs and who the duck walks in? Hand job guy. I was the only one available and I'm a professional so I didn't say anything. He mentioned I looked familiar. And halfway through it seemed to dawn on him because he suddenly got quiet. Paid. Literally ran out. And never came back lol. Cousin's friend is a former stripper. Told this one at a family gathering. Essentially. This dude paid for the full VIP treatment, room and all that. But 4 minutes in or so. He wanted to show his dogs. He spent the entire rest of the time showing her his dogs and videos of them playing. She asked him why he spent his money for the full VIP treatment just to show dogs. He said oh. I just wanted to show my dogs to someone. But couldn't find another way. Edit. To everyone talking about him not knowing what Reddit it or whatever. The story was in the early 2010s and Reddit wasn't as widespread. A guy came told me I looked intellectual and began to debate me on how gay marriage shouldn't have been legalized. In 2019. Guess what kind of club we were in. Clearly debate club. There was a guy who was super drunk and telling me he was there with his wife. But it's cool. They have an open relationship thing going on. Cool. Whatever. None of my business. We go and start to dance. Maybe a minute and this woman runs around he corner and starts screaming at him. He starts screaming back. And pretty much tosses me to the floor and runs after her. Dropping a hundred bucks in the process, while also already having paid for the dance. Comma I grab the money and try to find out what happened. I asked a waitress if she'd seen where he went and she said he'd just been kicked out for choke slamming the woman into a wall. So I got to keep the money which was kinda cool. Had another guy pay me $700 to literally just rub my feet for 2 hours. I hate foot stuff people touching my feet. Baduck man. $700 during a day shift was pretty sweet. Not a stripper. But I did work in a strip club as a bouncer. Which provided me a great story involving one of the girls. Her name was Robot. Totally cool chick which had quite a following with the locals. In particular one regular of hers would come in once a week. Without missing a single week. And get the same private dance from the same girl, Robot. During his private dance. The man. Who was a big fellow. Weighing about 350 plus. Would ask her to take her stiletto heels and put them down his throat followed by a splash of creamer in his face. He paid her $400 each time. Not a stripper. But was at a bachelor party. 
We were at a higher end place where they just had one central stage and it wasn't just girl get naked. They each had some kind of theme and dance. Like one girl was dressed like Batgirl and rode out a Batmobile power wheel car. And another girl was doing whips and stuff. So this girl starts doing a fire show and is swinging around these flaming bolos and and then pours a circle of fire around her on the stage. Then she does the breath of fire and her face catches on fire. She's wildly patting at her head. Bouncers come running. Every guy at the stage hops up ready to help. But she gets the fire out and holds her hands up like I'm okay. It's fine. And everyone kinda nervously sits back down and she finishes out her show to the smell of burnt hair. Everyone felt terrible for her and put out a lot of tips but she left them all and just walked out without taking any money when she finished. Pretty sure she didn't have eyebrows and now had flame induced bangs. I had a guy who paid for lap dances during which I sat on top of him doing nothing while he verbally narrated a story about me as a goddess in some made up pantheon he created. Rising from the ducking sea and stepping on men's backs etc. Until he nutted in his pants. He exclusively referred to my PSSY as a shrine. Also had a guy follow me around the club on all fours wanting to do puppy play. Another one pushed a cough drop down my sock into my toes and then had me leave it there for a while and then took it out and ate it. There was once a regular at one of my clubs who would ask you to pretend to be dead while you sat with him. And if you were good at enough at it he would buy a room with you where you would pretend to be dead while he pretended to embalm you. He was a no longer licensed mortician. Is he no longer licensed because he had sx with the corpses? BC I think I the answer is definitely. I strip but this is actually my co-worker's story she was sitting at the bar with another dancer and a guy walked by. Her friend said quit put your head down on the bar and be really still. She was weirded out but she did it for a few minutes. And when she came back up. He had left $1000 next to her head. Friend told her he was a regular. And he was really into women pretending to be dead. I gave my first VIP dance to a man who looked like Nicolas Cage and Lin-Manuel Miranda had a baby, who also had the same name as my nephew. He liked to slap and didn't like me grooving to the music. Once some guy took me to VIP and kept trying to make out with me and saying do you like me? Do you like me? Narrator. A few years back I used to date a girl who was a stripper and cocktail waitress. This is not my story but this is one she shared with me. It was close to closing time and a clean cut guy had been buying drinks and dances all night. My ex and her friend got him into the VIP rooms for a private dance. He mostly wanted to watch the girls dancing and groping each other. But he kept trying to get them to come over to his hotel room after close. My ex saw the red flags and immediately said no. She started making excuses but the other girl was down. So after close I pick my ex up and we head over to Waffle House as was our routine. Halfway through our meal the girl texts my ex and the guy had apparently met her at the hotel room already stripped to his underwear. Laid down in the bathroom and told her to pee all over him while he just laid there saying who's a filthy SLT? Over and over again. She did this twice and apparently made $300. Yeah. Our club had a guy we called the Measure Man. Little old Asian man that would take a girl for a dance and just ask her to stand still while he took her measurements with a tape measure. Never said what for. And didn't speak the whole time. Our guesses ranged from he was making a life-sized SX doll. To personalized coffins for when he murdered one of us. When I was just starting out. I had a Hispanic man who became my regular for about a year and a half. He'd always show up dressed to the nines and he'd never go to anyone else. He spoke no English and never wanted private dances. He'd stay long enough that I'd have about 4 rotations on stages. Each time I was up he'd walk to my stage and surround that thing with $100 bills. No matter who was sitting there. It was around $2,500 each set. He was respectful and polite and of course. I looked forward to him coming in. Then. He abruptly disappeared. I was 19 at the time and very naive. The DJ explained to me that my regular was very likely a dealer or runner and had gotten busted or murdered. 
It was a dose of reality I'd never experienced and it broke my young heart. Then there was the time a guy crawled up on stage and bit my butt and I beat him with my stiletto. Or the time a guy grabbed my breast and I broke his fingers. Good times. There was a regular who would pay for a VIP and ask you to sit with your legs open while he shined a flashlight right at your bits. Several strippers have told me about the guy that pays them to stab him in the stomach. Another famous regular pays them to act dead. He will sit next to them and whisper about how they OD on Hurrian. If they move. Laugh. ETC he immediately leaves. Girls will fall flat off the pole if he walks in since he is such a good tipper. This one is odd. But another guy pays them to just walk around with a piece of paper stuck to their shoe. Someone mentions it. The girl says she is keeping it there. He just sits in the corner and watches. NASB. The strip club in my town had free cheeseburgers so a stripper cooked me and my buddy some cheeseburgers on the grill in back outside. She wore an apron but was otherwise in stripper apparel. We mostly talked about cooking. I had a guy ask me for a foot job in the private dance booth. It was my first day on the job. He said he had a relationship with several of the dancers where they would do that for him. In my head I was pretty shocked but tried to just smile and be flirty and go with it. He went on for a while about his foot fetish and insisted that I give him a foot job. I told him maybe next time but it never happened. A guy threw up on me during a dance. I'm a sympathy puker so I immediately threw up all over him in return. This art professor from a local university would bring a camera and little glass table that he would lay under in the VIP room while girls crushed tubes of paint with their heels. Afterwards he would have the girls walk all over his chest. He had scars all over his body from where he had been cut up by the stilettos. He was a regular so we'd always let him into the VIP room alone to set up his things. One time. He brought in a shallow cardboard box that he had hollowed out on the bottom and put on the table. Halfway through the VIP room the girl runs out screaming and crying. She looked down and the top of the cardboard box had curled over to reveal that she was stepping on several little white mice. Dude was only kicked out for a few months. But never allowed to bring his equipment back in again. I had a virgin man from India once who booked me for the champagne room. He offered me an extra $400 to stick his index finger in my bag for a few seconds lol. Lol. Did he know he could go somewhere else and get far more than that for 400? Not a stripper. But my buddies dragged me to a strip club when I was 18. I had a baby face. No facial hair and felt so awkward. People kept looking at me like how the duck did you get in here? One stripper even asked me if it was past my bedtime. My friends thought it would be funny to buy me a private dance without telling me. This 40 year old Latina MILF pulls me aside into a little booth. She closes the curtain and starts to do her thing. As she bends over. She lets out the loudest queef I've ever heard. Awkwardly enough I laughed and she got up and left. I sat in the booth until somebody brought me back to my friends. Turns out they paid her close to $100 for that. I went home that night and told my girlfriend what happened and she died laughing. I'll never be back to another strip club. We had this guy that would come into our club and offer to buy any fresh used tampons from any of the dancers for 40 bucks. No dances. No private shows. Just the used tampon. Also Jerry Springer show, about 2002-ish, would cold call about once a month asking if we had anyone one who wanted to go on the show. Dracula was just looking to make tea. My ex-girlfriend was a stripper at one point in her life. She used to have a mentally handicapped client come in who would pay her to give him a piggyback ride around in the back. The sensation from bopping up and down during the piggyback ride would cause him to bust in his pants. Which his own I guess. One time the ice cream man stopped outside our club and all the dancers ran out in their bikinis and got free cones. I went to a strip club outside KC. Sweet girl was up dancing. Didn't look comfortable or look like she wanted to be there. She asked me for a dance. I said maybe but asked her why she was nervous. 
She had been doing it for a week because she is a single mom and her son wanted guitar lessons. She wanted to get it for him for Christmas but it was $300 a month. I asked my friend I came with to go half with me and we gave her one. 200, 600 each, no dances just get him 4 months worth. We came in a week later and she had quit. One of my co-workers is an ex-stripper. She has a million and a half stories of creeps. Gropers. Men who've requested disgusting things and extremely aggressive and entitled lesbians. But here's one story that she likes telling. So. She was giving a dance to this guy. He paid for a VIP room and she was giving him the full show. As he paid for it. But he wasn't enjoying it. At all. So. About halfway through her routine he just stands up and says what the hell am I doing? I gotta pay the car registration. Go to pick up the mail. Mow the lawn and a million other things and left. Dude went to a strip club on his day off but couldn't enjoy because he had a bunch of chores that needed doing. Went to a strip club. Couldn't get his mind off what he should be doing and left. Not a particularly funny story. But she always laughs because of how utterly ridiculous it is. Dude's got his priorities straight on mayo. The most tame story that I think about often but my partner used to work in Brooklyn and one of the main cast members of Twin Peaks walked in.